Hey everyone, today um, I'm going to make a nice little sci-fi box uh, based on a design. I'll put a link in the description. This should be a nice little tutorial for how to use the current version of Plasticity. So to start, we're going to click on this box icon over here. We're going to click on the origin, and you'll note that we're making a sort of corner-to-corner -corner box. We can toggle uh, between center and corner boxes by tapping Alt, Center, Corner, center and we want to center in this case so I'm just going to click here and you'll note that we have a nice little snap point to make that a perfect cube right click to confirm now by default we can select all topology in in plasticity faces edges etc I'm going to go into edge mode now by clicking here or we can use the key bindings one two three four so in edge mode two uh, we can select these four edges by shift clicking on them and then we can make either a chamfer or a nice fillet. I'm going to hit escape actually to cancel and escape to deselect. I want to show another way of selecting those four edges. We can hold down alt and that will select a loop and control alt which will select a ring. And so from there I'm going to use the key bindings instead of the gizmo because I prefer those coming from Blender. And these seem reasonable. We can always change these fillets later so right click to confirm. Now I want to decorate the face of the box, so I'm going to go into face mode by typing 3, clicking on the face, and we're going to decorate this, so I'm going to make it the construction plane to make it a little bit easier. So we hit space, and voila, it's the construction plane. So I'm just going to add four circles. You'll notice we have these little snap points to help. I'm just going to put a design like this, and just to simplify things, I'm going to use the mirror command, mirror from left to right right click to confirm and now I'm going to use the key binding alt x same as box cutter and mirror from top to bottom right click to confirm now I'm going to extrude these faces in we can shift click them or hold down alt and we will select all coplanar regions now again we can use the gizmo to extrude it in or we can use our key bindings d and so we're just going to make a little boolean subtraction and you notice that we'll have our Boolean key bindings here. W will make this a Boolean difference. And we click on the target, right click to confirm. Now I'm done with these curves, so I'm going to Alt click on them, which will select all coplanar curves, and X to delete them. Now in face mode, I'm going to select these three faces, and we're going to give this a little inset offset detail. I'm going to type O for offset, and then D to bring those faces back out a little bit so we can just uh, find a value we're happy with, which I am, and we're going to right click to confirm. Now, the next step is we're just going to make a little kind of Boolean cutout, uh, a perfectly square uh, cutout in the upper right hand side of this cube. So I am going to make a little box, we're going to center it, uh, or one corner will be the center of this face, and then we can make the box like any proportion that's bigger than the cut we want to make but just to show how to make it pre super precise if we tap shift on this edge it adds a construction line hopefully you can see that here and if we tap shift on this edge it adds another construction line hopefully you can see that here and at their intersection we have a snap point and so we can click here and we can extrude this box just to the midpoint of this edge, which we already have a snap point for. And now we have a nice little cube. We can type W to do a Boolean difference and right click to confirm. Now, uh, I'm going to select these two edges. We're going to give this a nice little um, or larger fillet. Um, we can always tweak later where we want the placement of them. For now, I think like down the middle seems fine, although maybe we'll end up moving it to the right later. And I want to bring back some of the circular details um, over here. Um, or actually, we can make a nice like sci-fi cutout around this based on the design that, that I'm copying. So. I'm going to make the face the construction plane again and in edge mode I'm going to select this edge and I'm going to type shift D to duplicate it into a curve. And then I'm going to alt X and just mirror it 
And we're going to turn this into a little pill shape just by drawing um, Shift R to repeat the command. And that I'll turn blue because these are a, that is an enclosed coplanar region. Now, in face mode, we can select any of these regions, or holding down Alt, we can select all coplanar regions. And I actually want to make this detail uh, in the box, but a little bit bigger. So I'm going to offset this by typing O. And by default, that offsets each face individually, but we can use I to toggle between sort of a collective and individual offset. So I want a collective offset here. Um, we can use the gizmo or we can use the key bindings. Right click to confirm. And now I want to sort of imprint this curve onto this body. So I'm going to type Shift I for imprint and then click on our target. And you can see that this curve got imprinted all the way through our box. And that's exactly what I want. So I'm going to right click to confirm. Now in edge mode, I'm going to alt click on these, selecting all coplanar edges, X to delete them. So I am going to basically inflate or deflate or offset these faces just to have a nice indentation detail. So these are moving along as normals. And then I think, right click to confirm, we can either leave these kind of sticking out or I can move them in, I'll just type G for the move command, same key binding as Blender, till we have something that looks reasonable. Now, back in uh, face mode, I'm going to take this circular detail, going to duplicate it, going to mirror it, and then I'm just going to take this and we're going to make this a Boolean subtraction. Again, typing W to turn into difference, and then we can tweak this until we have a value we want, but anything seems reasonable to me. Right click to confirm, and then I'm done with these curves. They're gone. Okay, now some details. I am going to chamfer this edge, and then chamfer this, and we'll add a nice little fillet. Looks reasonable to me. Now, for the most part, we can always tweak these later, so I don't, I'm not too worried about any of the details. Let's just um, move on to the other part of the body that I want to decorate, which is kind of this area. So I just want to echo these, the geometry of these edges. So we're going to offset, inset this guy. Now, by default, it's individual faces, but if we type I, it will toggle as a sort of collective offset. I'm going to right click to confirm and then uh, I'm just going to select these faces, bring them in a little bit, seems reasonable to me. And then in edge mode, we're just going to round off these four edges just till we get something that seems reasonable. And yeah, looks good. Um, now, during our imprint earlier for this detail, we uh, we printed this face too because it goes all the way through the object. I'm just going to delete that by typing X. Now we're going to add a little chamfer detail. I'm going to select the edges I want to chamfer and type C. And now by default that will chamfer the entire sort of tangent chain. But if we don't want to do that we can click here and it will only be the edges we selected. But I actually want to limit it to an even smaller area. So one thing that we can do with chamfer is add limit points. So I'm just going to type L to add a limit point and type L again to add another limit point. Now we need to get the alignment correct because, for example, we can limit on the outside or on the inside. But that's basically what I'm after. Um, that looks pretty good. Uh, and then I think we can just go ahead and decorate this face now. So I'm going to make this the construction plane by hitting, by selecting the face and hitting space. And we're going to make a little sort of X-Men detail. So I'm just going to make a circle in the middle and then I'm just going to draw like some X's all the way across this. Now because this is axis aligned, uh, we can just use the grid. We can turn on the grid and use the grid. But we can also use the, you know, shift activating these edges to have, um, you know, construction lines. And so that's a way that I tend to work because I don't really use the grid very much. But sometimes it's useful just to show how this works. Okay, so here's 
Here's using the grid, turn that off real quick. So if I select this face, and then I kind of want, I want to echo the edges, the boundary edges. So I'm going to convert the selection from face to edges. So either I can, in edge mode, just hold down Alt and click on this. Or alternatively, with the face selected, I can type Control 2 to convert the selection to the boundary edges. That's sometimes more useful. Anyway, with these edges selected, I'm going to shift D to duplicate them. And now we have a curve that's the same as those edges. And you can see that you know we have all these faces. I'm just going to Alt select them. And now we can offset them individually till we have a design that looks reasonable. And now I'll just select all of these alternating faces. And I'll bring that in a little bit, turn that into a Boolean. And we can tweak the distance till we have something we like. Right click to confirm. Now I'm done with all these curves. I'm going to Alt click on them. X to delete them. And this is our basic design. Now at this point, our design is still very flexible, you know, so we can, you know, still tweak um, quite a few of these faces um, in ways that are subtle or more extreme. We can bring this up, we can bring this down, we can tweak these around. These are, these are more subtle changes, I think, but we can even go so far as to like rotate certain faces and a lot of this is still quite flexible. Um, and so it's best maybe not to add the tiny fillets, which kind of constrain, which constrain the design until maybe the very end. Um, anyway, there's, there's quite a lot of stuff that we can tweak. So for example, you know, all of these fillets that we added are still editable. Um, and so we can keep tweaking things until we have the design we like. And more or less, I'm happy with it now. And then we can sort of start adding some of these smaller fillets if we want or need them. Um, and yeah, that's it. I think this should be a pretty good overview of, uh, of you know, kind of a polygonal style of modeling and plasticity. And this should be, hopefully, for beginners, a relatively comprehensive overview of how to use the how to use the app. Okay, thanks for your time, and uh, and yeah.